Right in gap 08, we are going to do the seed 2.0 cross site request forgery attack lab. You can open your new tab from the official description. Here is the menu and the lab set up. If you have any uh, problem with the docker, then check the docker menu. And we need to complete all the tasks. There are totally of five tasks. For those students who had used uh, these images, don't they continue to use it. For demonstration, I removed all those images and containers and start from fr fresh. There are three parts, environment setup, attack tasks, and defense tasks. So you can see uh, there are three attack tasks and two defense tasks. The environment setup, scroll down. Please uh, read this lab manual carefully by yourself. In the lab setup, we have three uh, web servers, right? three containers. One is the seed server.com, one is attack seed2 and example seed2.com. So let's download uh, the lab setup. Lab uh, 08, let's create a, a new folder here. Lab 08. And save it. Right now we are use a doc composer build up and down to run these containers. Down shut down it. Go to place where you save it. Oops, I save it. Uh, under here, left click, extract here, go inside these other photos, attacker image, attacker image, MySQL image, triple So these three images correspond to uh, three containers. When we run it, open in terminal. As DC up, DC build, build those images. Okay, it's done. Now we DC up. So I bring it up, right? Okay, open a new tab with a Docker PS. See the three containers. Attacker, Arrogger, the social website, and the database. Here you can see uh, how the containers, the images are built. So check this uh, build file. The so build file inside the image, for example. The image uh, attack and check this uh, doc file. Another DNS configuration. I'll copy this. Uh, and 
and put it inside this etc house file. Dodgy editor etc hosts So now you can see the CSRF lab is not updated. This is for seed 1.0. So for seed 2.0, put them here. Here you may uh, add a comment seed 1.0. Here is, is uh, seed. 2.0. Control S, save it. Right. You see there are two websites hosted on the same server or the same container. Save it. Close it. Right now we set up uh, the mapping between the IP address, uh, the IP address and the domain name for the database. If you need a refresh database, you can remove remove the database saved on your situation machine. The user accounts for the ELG social website uh, have these uh, users. Now let's uh, go through these tasks. Task 1, 2, 3 as it uh, attacks. The first task observing HTTP uh, request. So you can uh, open that uh, website. Here we have three websites. Right? There's three websites. So it looks like it's a good idea here we are. put uh, surprise all the arrows put it as background right, these are the three websites right, for example the seedserver.com copy it open a new tab in your local machine and we paste here. Before we refresh the web page, you may uh, open this uh, HTTP headline. Then you can uh, capture the initial request to this uh, server. Here is the uh, social website. For example, if you want to capture the username and the password, for example, Alice. His password is uh, seed Alice. So I check the manual. Right. The manual for Alice is seed Alice. For any user is just the seed followed by the username and the password. Yeah. Password. Now, if I want to uh, catch this uh, password, open this uh, HTTP headline. Now I log in, click login. And you see here it's a uh, capture. Right? Now go up to find that uh, password captured. Here there's a login. When you check it, did you see the password here? Password seed Alice. Username equals Alice. And you can open this. Uh, it's a post request. You can find all other information. This a uh, cookie. Here is the error. Well, this is the first task, task one. So you can see all the information. They are captured, username and the password. I want to hide it or minimize, that's no minimize. Is 
on the top. So let's close it. Okay, now I log in as Iris. Okay. Task one is done. Uh, just follow the capture something and show it. Identify the parameters used in this request, if any. For example, that username and the password. Now, CSRF attack using this uh, get request. We host the uh, mail web page on this uh, attack three tool. Open a new tab. Uh, it's an uh, attacks uh, web page. There is an add friend attack and add profile attack. Currently, it does not work because the we need some modification. Cl click the first one, you check the source code. Right? See the uh, source empty. We need to modify this uh, part. And also the second one, it also does not work. Now for the first one, using the get request, which means modify this one, the source code and uh, this uh, add frame attack. We want to add Alice as a Siamese friend. Right? The uh, attacker is a Siamese. Certainly you can use anyone else. But here, uh, we just use this uh, convention. Alice and Sammy. Sammy want to add Alice, uh, uh, want to add himself to the friend list of Alice. This is uh, the first attack. So we need to log in as uh, Sammy. Log in as a Sammy. Now, if Sammy add anyone to his friend list, can click uh, the members. Yeah, for example, add uh, Alice. Add Alice to uh, his friend list. Click Alice. And he see as profile is empty. Now click add, before we click add friends, we start this uh, HTTP header line to capture the get request. Add friends. Okay, now you see uh, this uh, add friend request with a uh, parameter friend equals 56. So it looks like Alice's GUID is uh, 56. We can get it from here. And that uh, token, they are disabled currently for this attack. So we need this. And followed by the friend. The other two parameters don't need it. So this uh, 56 is uh, Alice now. And uh, what is the GUID of uh, Sami? Sami need to find his own uh, GUID. So let's uh, create a new uh, empty text file so we can put some temporary data here. So to add a friend, here this uh, get method. For the other two parameters, they are used for counter the CSRS attack. Going to see, going to we paste here. Let's close it.
Now, he wants to find a Sami his own. GID, you can click profiles and uh, check the source code. Real page source, uh, as we demonstrated. last uh, Wednesday anyone can find his uh, GID from his profile source code here GID is 59 59 is uh, Simon's GID so you can record this thing yeah. in this temp folder Simon's GID here's 59 Let's uh, close this one and uh, log out. In order to uh, do a CSRF attack, the victim is Alice. Alice must uh, have must have an uh, active session. So Alice needs to log in. Uh, log into his uh, social website. Uh, she can uh, check her friends. Currently, no friends yet. Now, Sammy want to add as uh, Alice's friend, so he need to uh, modify that attack code CD to attack. I don't like uh, that uh, nano. So we will modify it here and copy into the container. It's up to you if you want to modify inside the container. The attacker is this one. You can open a shell to this uh, attack. Copy its ID number. Open a new tab. So Docker shell or by the attack container GID. We know the attack website is under this uh, folder. Attacker. Right, you see that uh, add friend.html and uh, add profile.html. What we need to modify for task 2 is the add friend.html. And you can see its content using Lino. Certainly, we can modify its content from here. Uh, I need to go to that folder first. Well, Nano airframe.html. So, you need to uh, add that get message port here, as we learned uh, during the lecture. I don't want to uh, modify from here and uh, control X to stop it because we cannot uh, paste it inside this container. So I want to modify from this uh, doc builder. Add friend .html. We use a G editor. Or you can open uh, the folder here. Left side attacker. Drag and drop that add friends to our G editor. Our friends, drag job here. Right now it's open. Open here and uh, copy this uh, get method. Pay attention, 56 is Alice. Alice GID equals 56. We want to add Sammy. So we need to change it to Simon's uh, GID. Copy this one. Control C. Paste here. Control V. 59. Control S. Save it. Okay, now we have this airframe.html. We already know the folder, right? Inside the attack container is this one. I can copy this one 
Actually, we can call this horsey. Come back to your local uh, folder, this attacker. We use Docker, copy, then add friend, paste that uh, container location here, the container. And press enter. Okay, we can check it. It was a cat and friend inside this container. You see it's a uh, copy here. Right? Okay, now to attack Alice, uh, Bob said, "Could send a message." Then Alice access that uh, attack web page. This ad friend attack. Then she will be attacked. So we. It's up to you to send a message to Alice, uh, just like Alice said. Suppose we wanted to have a way to lure Alice to click this uh, link. So, Alice has an active uh, session now. Then we know in order for CSRF attack worked, the victim must have an active session. Now click this ad friend uh, attacker, go back to uh, Alice, Refresh. No friends yet. So this uh, attack, the friend is uh, not added to Alice's friends. Let's see what the problem. We can check the source code. Here you see it's not updated. Uh, refresh check source code uh, this uh, is something you need to refresh now you will go to Alice's uh, uh, and uh, refresh and Sammy is uh, added uh, you have successfully added Sammy as a friend so Alice is uh, attacked by that uh, CSRF attack with a get method. The second attack in this lab menu, Sammy want to uh, modify Alice's uh, profile. Currently Alice's profile is empty. Right? And Sammy want to add Sammy is my hero to Alice's profile. And a template is a given. Again, we need to uh, find. Uh, there are two methods: get method and the post method. You are required to use a uh, post method, uh, post method uh, only. So we need to catch that uh, post method with a HTTP headline and modify the template given. So the template is here to add to profile.html as we discussed during the lecture. For details, please uh, check the slides. We can drag and drop this added profile into uh, our text editor. Here, what do we need to modify in those uh, stars? We also need to find the get method here, this action. Change this one to the get method. And we, wa we also need to know what are these things. Then brief description, access level, GID. So to do that, again we need to log in as uh, Sammy. Log in. Sam can add his own profile. Profile. Edit profile. Then he put something here. Display name is Sammy about me. Sammy is uh, my hero. Description. 
Sami is my hero. Okay, okay, here you see I added two. You may only need one inside the brief description. As you see in the template, there is a brief description. So we, we guess this brief description. It is this a text box. Before we submit, save it with a HTTP headline. Now I click save. So it's captured. And you check some is. Uh, there is a brief description Sam is my hero about me, Sam is my hero. So then you can change it to whatever you want. We are interested in the post method used to update the description. Right? Here you check here. In this, uh, this is the post method, we use it. Here is post method. And you can see the parameters uh, set up here. What does the form variables is set here? And you see your ID is 59, is a semi. Right? Now we, we want to attack Alice, so we need to change this to Alice. During the lecture, you see lots of uh, you don't have the authorization to do something, which means the GID is not right. You will get that, uh, that loop, so you need to close it quickly, as it uh, stated here. Here your attack failed. Uh, we will go back later. Currently, uh, we are interested in this one. Can I can see this post method. We want to modify this edit profile.html. So change this uh, action and we press it here and let's save it method is post right set the fields fields the set up here with this uh, javascript function the name value so compare here what the name means name you sami so we want to attack Alice so the name change to Alice actually uh, when you change to Sami, it will be automatically changed to uh, Alice when Alice uh, was attacked. You may try it. This brief description here, brief description, there is a description, a brief description. So we only use a brief description in this uh, template. If you want to add uh, one more, for example, a description, so you can add a description. It's up to you if you want to add more. Here, let's only change this uh, brief description in the template. Can we post here? If you want to add that uh, description, you can just see copy this one, control V, paste here, right? And change it to a uh, description. So that is what uh, matters. The uh, description is in front of a brief description. So description. We also put a uh, sum is my hero. You can change it to anything else. Now this is GID value. GID value we know uh, the GID here. We want to see it, which modified here. That GID 39 is uh, check your temper um, 39 semi. We want to attack uh, Alice, so we change it to uh, Alice GID. Yours may be different, so please uh, capture your Alice uh, GID and your Sami's GID. This GID into Alice GID 
36 could as savage. Okay, now uh, we have uh, modified this template. Again, we want to copy this template. Please uh, control S, save it. Or you click this, save it. Save it. Again, we use this uh, copy method. You dock copy to copy to that uh, container. Would like to just bring it up and modify this one to add the profile. HTML and uh, press enter. Now you need to uh, check in the container. We use a cat add profile.html. You see the update is here. It looks good. Now you need to log in as uh, Alice because we want to attack Alice. Right? Uh, let me know how to uh, add, how to modify uh, the profile. So he log out. Let me log in. Or oh, Alice log in because we want to attack Alice. Alice need an uh, active session. Okay, Alice is logged in and uh, she check her profile is empty. Now she was uh, loaded by Sammy and. Uh, oh, Click this uh, edit profile attack and refresh. Click this edit profile attack. Now you see uh, Alice's your profile was successfully saved. So, that means my hero, that means my hero. So, Alice is attacked. If it uh, does not work, you may need to refresh this one. Right? Refresh. Uh, oops, I closed that. Uh, Attack website. As we did for that uh, get method, you need to update. Oops. You need to refresh that website, the attack website. Gonna repaste it here. Uh, we know Alice is attacked. Now, um, let's check the. We completed all the attack tasks. Now, let's uh, defend CSRF attack. First, we can enable uh, helpers countermeasure. Here, how do we enable it? It uses two uh, tokens to enable these those tokens. You only need to uh, modify this uh, file and uh, serial token validation chart here. This one disable it, so we need to uh, remove it or just uh, command out. Turn on this command measure. Go to that. Uh, for the remove the return statements from the CSRF PHP. So we know uh, when we copy this one, it does not work in the container. Right? Go to the Elgar container. Currently, I'm in, I only open uh, this uh, attack container. Here is the attack container. So that is a good way you can uh, change the Tab name. Uh, it cannot modify here. I open a new tab. Now I want to open a shell. Walk SH to the parent group. Here is a idea of the error container. Yours may be different, so it's changed to yours. Paste here. And now I'm inside this uh, error container. The S class go to this folder. 
Let's see whether I can copy it here or paste it here. Okay, I can paste it here. Now you see that csrf.php, we use a nano to modify it, csrf.php, as enter. Now where is that uh, return? It's inside this uh, validate function. Use your arrow key to find that uh, validate function here. CSRF tokens. Right, see this return here. It's added for seed labs. So we can just comment out. Then save it. How to save it? Control O. Front name to write, press enter. Okay, wrote two zero four lines. Now control X exit. You may top check your cat says I have find the validate. Here it is. Okay, now it's uh, enabled. So let's uh, clear Alice's uh, profile. So she added a uh, profile. And save it. Like an empty profile and in her friend list. Friends, remove Sammy, click Sammy, and uh, remove friend. And refresh. Oops, it looks like need to uh, click. Right now, Alice's friends is empty, no friends yet. We want to check whether those two attacks worked or not. Right? Go back to the attacker website. First one, add friend attack. Click add friends. Now you see a uh, no pop up. The friends is empty. Refresh, you can't see any friends. And you see form is missing token, TS fields, which means those uh, tokens that are enabled but we didn't supply them. Based on the same site policy for another web website, cannot access this token and the TS. And we will learn another way to access them from the same website in our next uh, chapter. The cross set scripting attack, how to access this tool with uh, Cross site scripting attack. But CSRF cannot access it from another website. And you see the enabled as we are uh, captured in uh, that uh, HTTP header level. We see those two tokens. The second one, the second attack, add profile. You click it. Now go to Alice folder. Uh, the uh, Alice's uh, website, click refresh. You see, form missing, token is terminated. So let's uh, click another, switch to another page. If uh, that GID is not right, you will see you don't have authorized to update the profile, edit the profile. And let's close it. Uh, you see uh, the corner manager worked.
because we need to uh, go away from this uh, this attack page. Otherwise, it uh, you you at least has a uh, active session that one will keep uh, attack. Profile is empty. So in what to make those disable, you just uh, go away from this attack. Uh, you don't need to uh, close it. Oh, this is task 4. No, task file. Experimenting with the same set cookie method in this example c2.com is host on the same container as that uh, seed server that elk server see here example c2 Let's check the example C2, same cell cookie. Please uh, read this uh, carefully. There are three uh, cookies cookie normal, cookie lax, and cookie strict, which means that the same cookie attribute is not set for this one, and uh, same cookie set as uh, lax for this one, set as strict for this one. So if experiment A and B, you can check the source code. There are three uh, some cell cookie explanation, some cell cookie strict tab, text tab. So where are those cookies? So cookies are inside this testing.html. And we the current website is example32, right? so which means experiment A, this link is from the same website, and link B is from a different website. So we will see how the same set cookie worked. If it's set as a strict, we check whether it will show up in this example 32. They all use uh, testing.html. Testing.html. They are identical. So we can have a look first. Right click, open a link A. The same set. So you can uh, check source code here of this uh, shell cookies.php. We we'll click submit on that post, uh, get match or post mass. You can check it. Click the submit get. You may send a get request that was or send a form. When you see those cookies wash up because we're from same set, right? Same set request. I also click this one. Same set request. You can check this source code. Inside this source code. But we cannot see uh, those PHP code because we are on the client side. To open that PHP code from this uh, lab setup it's inside this uh, image www, this is a difference, show cookie.php. Can open with a text editor and see how it uh, access the cookies. Here in PHP, you loop slow this cookie uh, array, this cookie uh, dictionary, right, key value, you will see all those cookies. If you have this cookie strict, which means from the same set, if we don't have this one, you know, from cross set, and we see that cookie strict here same set request. Now for that uh, experiment B, opening a new tab, 
Now you will submit a post uh, get up to you. Let's try a post. You only see this cookie normal. Don't see that uh, that cookie lacks and a cookie is strict, right? How about this uh, get? For this get method, you will see a normal and uh, cookie lacks. For this uh, show cookie, this is normal and lacks. Uh, you just describe those uh, what you see and explain them. How do you explain them? Here, based on your description, explain those uh, results. For each one, please try three of them. Try uh, submit get, submit post, and try this link. So ABC, each one you need to try ABC. And show your result and explain those results. To explain those results, you can check the same set cookie explanation online. I add some link for you. Here, you scroll down, see the same set, and uh, open it to see the explanation of the same set edge builder or cookies. How do they work for this uh, strict and lax? Then you use this explanation to explain the result you see from here. From each one you have three results to explain them. Okay, we complete this lab.